the god news youtube channel is what you watching guys welcome aboard welcome aboard and uh, we into the boxing news that is making headlines and well i got some new news for you concerning alexander yusuk anthony joshua and uh, tyson fury and alexander yusuk has welcomed uh, a trilogy fight with anthony joshua after the tyson fury rematch and uh, he has given huge respect to anthony joshua who is a former four and he says anthony joshua has improved uh, a lot uh, in his fighting alexander yusuk has declared that he's happy to fight anthony joshua for a third time the heavyweight king became undisputed champion by twice beating aj and then uh, conquering uh, tyson fury this year and now seemingly has little left to do in uh, the sport Yusuk is set for a contractually obligated rematch with uh, the Gypsy King Tyson Fury on December 21st. After that, many boxing fans expected him to retire from the sport. However, the Ukrainian has insisted he will fight on. When asked who he will face in future, Yusuk told uh, Mail Sport, I don't particularly want any rematches, but when we beat uh, Tyson Fury for the second time and when Anthony Joshua defeats Daniel Dubois, of course, they will want to do a third fight. From my point of view, I have no right to deny Anthony a third fight because he gave me two incredible fights. Anthony helped me become even more famous in the world. Anthony did it. And if it happens with God's help, then I am ready for a third fight with Anthony Joshua. Regarding what he's seen from AJ in the four fights since uh, their rematch, you succeed. He has improved a lot uh, psychologically, pushed for a prediction on if Joshua will beat uh, Dubois. Yusuf confidently replied, of course, it's an Olympic champion and a UK champion. Anthony is a different level. The first fight between Yusuf and uh, Joshua came about when negotiations between AJ and Fury fell through in 2021. The Ukrainian was WBO mandatory challenger and so forced a shot at Joshua's three belts. He also held the WBA and IBF at the time. In September 2021 at uh, Tottenham Hotspur Stadium, Yusuk buffered the champion and they thrown him with a comfortable boxing uh, performance. 11 months later, in their rematch, he had uh, a much tougher task. A renewed Joshua pushed Yusuk close in August 2022 in uh, Saudi Arabia. I think this was the birth of uh, the famous Riyadh seasons that we're seeing uh, now moving across uh, the world. Recently, they were in the U.S. for the uh, Thai, uh, rather uh, Terence Bad Crawford versus Israel Madrimov uh, fight. And now, uh, but we all know that uh, in that Riyadh season, uh, in the end, Yusuf uh, uh, came through. And uh, uh, on a strong uh, uh, finish in the final few rounds to take a split decision victory. And he has since beaten Dubois and uh, now Fury to become undisputed. Meanwhile, AJ has been on the comeback trail with two uninspiring wins over uh, Jermaine Franklin and Robert Hellenius, followed by far more convincing victories against Otto Valin and Francis Ngano. Yusuf vacated his IBF heavyweight world title after beating Fury, setting up a clash between Dubois and Joshua with the belt at stake. Should Edge win, as Yusuf expects, a trilogy fight between them would once again unite all four belts and crown an undisputed uh, champion. That will be interesting to see uh, how that pans out. And uh, like many expect that... Uh, AJ will be beating up on uh, Daniel Dubois. Daniel Dubois has been talking tough like you will hear in my subscribed videos. But, but, but uh, the odds are against Daniel Dubois defeating Anthony Joshua. And if you to consider uh, the kind of performances that uh, these two have exhibited, well, uh, you put Joshua at the top, but don't underestimate uh, Daniel Dubois. Uh, he's looked to have improved from uh, his two losses to... Uh, George Joyce and uh, the other to Alexander Yusuk. He seems to be a guy that can go through hell 
to try and uh, win over his uh, uh, challenges or to top all his challenges. So uh, you think it's going to be a beautiful fight, but but I don't think that Don Charles now, the train of uh, Daniel Dubois, will be looking at uh, approaching uh, that uh, Anthony Joshua fight like the way he approached the Phil Pogovic fight because you think he they gave away way, 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 way too much. They gave away way too much to uh, uh, Phil Pogovic with those right hands uh, coming in and coming in well. Dibwa with it through, but if it's Anthony Joshua uh, throwing those right hands and uh, they are coming to you, uh, you should be worried for yourself. You should be worried for yourself. And I think that's the main reason why many people are tipping Anthony Joshua to win that one so you tell us what you think with Yusuf saying he can't deny Anthony Joshua you see he feels like he's indebted to Anthony Joshua giving oh, no. him a chance to so Yusuf feels like he's indebted to Anthony Joshua and uh, it, it's a kind of thing that uh, you can't help but uh, do give uh, kudos and uh, get your hat off for this guy this guy is uh w one of a kind one of a kind you see he talks of how anthony joshua made him popular around the world because he was uh, a poster boy of british boxing and still he's uh he still is because if you look at uh what i'm hearing from what is coming from the sales of those tickets uh, uh between anthony joshua and daniel the fight you think they're doing tremendously well. I've heard that uh, they have already sold 95,000. 95,000. So uh, this will be w wonderful to see. Joshua overcomes the Dubois uh, challenge, uh, then goes on to be in a dream fight. Uh, first of all, because it will be undisputed. Because if Yusuk uh, does win against Tyson Fury, he will still possess those belts. But either way, if Tyson Fury wins, he will possess those three belts. And the most likely fight next will be against Anthony Joshua, either man who wins uh, between Alexander Yusuk and Tyson Fury. So for Anthony Joshua, it is well placed for him to go into that undisputed uh, title fight like he has always dreamt of the legacy winning that undisputed at heavyweight that's something special in his mind i think like he has always said in the past he might have walked away from that because of uh, the few losses and uh, maybe seeing that uh the future doesn't hold it high there but now if he overcomes that daniel dubois uh fight i think i think now he will get a chance to uh, fight in that undisputed bout. If it happens, then we will be analyzing it then. Place your comments in the comment section below. And please let us know how you feel about all this. I sign out. Peace.